but luckily enough, you've only got 30 minutes with me this, this afternoon, so hopefully we'll have some fun with it. Now, I've completely forgotten the beginning of my expression. <laughs> I would like to point out I will drop things, I have added my tights, but it'll be fine. Um, so, just to let you know, uh, I work for a company called The Pampered Chef. Um, uh, Pampered Chef's an American company, been around now for some 30 odd years, been here for something like 13 years. I went to my first one of these because my mother made me go. Um, I come from a very large family and I'm the only non-cook. I have no ability whatsoever. I also don't eat fruit, vegetables, fish, eggs, cheese or nuts. So, <laughs> so whether you sit next to me at gala dinner, you're doing okay, alright? Um, and I went along and I, my mother whispered in the ear of the consultant who was doing the show, teach my daughter something. <laughs> so anyway, about halfway through I started going, oh, I've got one of them! Um, and by the end of the show, I wanted about £200 worth of equipment and I don't cook. <laughs> so I decided not to spend because we've been married happily for 16 years and I didn't think he'd appreciate me coming back with loads of new kitchen equipment. Um, so I helped the show, got loads of stuff for free, and then I got addicted. Now some of you might have experienced the Pampers of Tourette's. Um, <laughs> when you go into strangers' homes and go, oh, that's a pretty bowl. Do you know what you can do in there? Lava oh, pudding is great. Well, that was me. And I took, uh, I went to show after show after show, five in a row, without being invited. <laughs> She went, show the garlic press, it's amazing! Um, anyway, after five shows, the woman who did the job said she wouldn't do another one if I was there. <laughs> so three months later, I decided I was going to give it a bash. So I very much am giving it a bash. Um, and hopefully tonight you'll have some fun with me, because that's what Pampa Chef's all about. My name's Carolyn, we always forget that. Um, and I love my job. I will be throwing out sweeties. I always do that. And just to let you know, if you make an intelligent comment, you will earn a sweetie from the pot. <laughs> um, if you ooh and are at me, I'm the chef. Um, you'll get a sweetie too. Um, and it only works once because otherwise you look like chipmunks. Um, okay. So first things first, Lee said something about butter bowls. Yeah, we're making green star turkey with chickpea and couscous salad. So to place the couscous in the small batter bowl and add 160 ml of boiling water from the measure all cup. <laughs> These are our prep bowls. Matt Dawson, famous rugby player, has touched my jug. <laughs> I've washed it since. Anyway, genius bit of kick. You can bake in it, freeze it, microwave, dishwash it. So you can bake your uh, porridge in it, you can bake chocolate sponge cakes in it, everything. Um, if you're a sado and you've got girls, uh, congratulations, because my husband only gave me boys. Um, the genius of this is you can bake cakes. As you know, you can turn it upside down. Um, but just a top suggestion, please wrap Barbie's legs in cling film, because it's a nasty yeast infection. <laughs> Flat 
objects, it's a must. You pour your um, gold syrup in, and all you do is literally go and scrape it off. It's fabulous. Really love it. Someone in my team makes beef burgers in them, but that's cooking. So anyway. Um, <laughs> so in here we've got couscous, which swells. It's very exciting. Um, lemon. <laughs> Something about the lemon. She mentioned lemon. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. This is my prep bowl. You might have a few of these at home. <laughs> I love mine because they come in sets, which is always good because I lose one. <laughs> okay, so we're slicing the lemon in half, aren't we, Lee? Yes. <laughs> and reducing it. Lee sent me this recipe. As you can tell, I wouldn't eat anything that was in this recipe. <laughs> Apparently, it's delicious. <laughs> um, so reducing our lemon, as you know from Will oh. yesterday, <laughs> <laughs> you turn your lemon in upside down. Because I did it the other way and went blind for three hours. <laughs> I look really professional, I'm very excited. I measure one tablespoon of the lemon juice and add to the yoghurt half a mint and one press, one garlic clove. I type this, that's why it's so bad. <laughs> also can't type. So, um, into a prep bowl, and this is the big one. You can make little chocolate puddings in here if you haven't done one already, it's great. You can do them in a the small one. Uh, but for those of us who like to properly eat, if you are already liking lots of stuff, it is time to book your show. <coughs> I can come make a mess on your floor. <laughs> One lady did make me stand on plastic.
and we ask you three questions. They're not mince and challenge questions. Uh, please don't draw smiley faces, I don't understand them. Um, but they basically are, would you like me to come and do a show for you? If you've had fun this evening and you've seen lots of stuff that you now crave, uh, you need to hold a Pampered Chef show. Let me come and do this for you. I can do an express show wherever you want me to be. We do evening shows which are fantastic, barbecue shows, pims and pudding shows, chocolate shows. Um, so just tick a box. We give away a lot of stuff with the Pampered Chef. In actual fact, my average hostess gets between 80 to 100 pounds worth of free product every time she holds a show with me. So if you'd like to do that, tick a box, come up to me and we'll pencil no date now. Uh, if you'd like to know more about doing this job, um, just to let you know, they pay me to train people to do this. Um, but if you think you've had fun this evening, if you know anyone who's looking for work at the moment, please tell them about us. I'm passionate about my business. I love it. It's such fun. And if you or anyone you know wants to give it a bash, just put your details on or their details and I'll give them a tinkle. Or you can take some information home tonight to have a look at. And the last thing is fundraisers. We do brilliant fundraisers. Put that on there. I'll just give you some information and we'll get to the date for your organisation. And instead of product, you'll get uh, cash. Well, a check. Not cash. I'm not going to... Uh, you'll get a check for your organisation, courtesy of the Pampered Chef. I'm going to fold these up and put these in a, uh, in a little bowl. And one of you will win a prize this evening. Just so you know, here's the catalogue. Um, in here is everything you never knew you wanted, but now you need. <laughs> uh, feel free to take it home. If you're going to use it, you're more than welcome to take it home. Inside here you'll find everything we sell at Pampershire uh, has a guarantee. So it's either one year, three year, five year or lifetime. Uh, everything we come comes with a 30 day no cripple guarantee. So if you have a problem with the product, you give me a ring and I will sort it out for you. So feel free to fill this out with all the things you desperately need now. If you want to get them for free, bring this list up and we'll use it as your wish list and we'll get them free at your show. Uh, we take Visa, MasterCard, cash or checks. Um, and I hope you've had fun tonight. It's been such fun playing with you guys. And I hope to see you soon. Let's have it again. Fantastic. Come in. Thank you so much.